Hey everybody, welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, Top Gun. Not Maverick, Top Gun, 1986. Tom Cruise, um, Val Kilmer, everybody's in this. Tim Robbins was in this movie. I had forgot all about that. Anthony Edwards is Goose, Tom Skerritt. The list goes on and on. The movie about the, uh, the pilot who goes to Top Gun in Miramar which is the elite pilot school um, school for pilots and, and everything that goes on there so maybe you know a little bit about it but I my wife has been telling me for a while to do some older movies this is from, this is from 1986 so I like Maverick I've always loved this movie so now I'm gonna try and give it its fair shake in a movie review however many years later and this is before Maverick comes out which I'm really excited for when that when that commercial came out and you hear the song at the beginning you know what I mean the Top Gun when the planes are taking off that kind of thing oh it gave me chills but now it's delayed of course so I'm gonna watch this and give it a review and uh, we'll see how it goes I have no idea I will take these shades off I thought it'd be funny hopefully you did too but let me get into the movie and I'll check in from time to time and let you know how it's going all right Hey everybody, I think this is going to be more of a watch it with me than a movie review. We're at the 15 minute 27 second mark and I got to jump in here really quick. I'm just, I mean I'm so excited already watching this film. I was afraid that it would be cheesy, I haven't seen it in years, but it's phenomenal. The opening scene, I mean with the, the like I told you, the music in the beginning, not the, you know, the upbeat to dong, you know, the, the sound, whatever. When they're on the aircraft carrier and everything, I love it. And then the whole opening scene with him and Cougar and, uh, you know, the Russian pilots and he gets inverted, you know. And uh, that whole piece, fantastic. And then he has the uh, courage to fly him back in. Loved it. Loved it again. I love it every time. And now the most quotable scenes, you know what I mean? Like, uh, you're writing body, you're writing checks, your body can't cash. I know I messed it up, but uh, he has two great quotes inside of two minutes. The uh, sergeant or whatever. And if you know the second one, I'm not going to say it. You put it in the comments below. You know what the second one is. It has to do with Hong Kong. Anyway, so I think I'm going to step in from time to time and tell you my favorite parts of this movie. That's what I'm doing going forward. But right now, I mean, this is great. Now he finally told him they're going to Top Gun. And uh, he's about to go to Top Gun and fly against the best. So, all right, let me get back into it. And I'll see you in a, in a flash. And we're going to talk about this movie throughout. All right. Be back. Be right back. You tell me about the mix of other time. Hey, gentlemen. Hey, everybody. Like I said, I'm going to check in all the time. We're at the 22 minute 59 second mark. And the reason we checked in, he just did. You lost that love and feeling move. Oh, I mean, like when I saw, I thought that was the greatest move ever. And I still thought it was a good one. I mean, not so much as a move, but a, one of the greatest um, I don't know, come on scenes in a movie, ever. You lost that love and feel. I think she's lost that love and feel. Oh, I hate when she does that. And they go and do it. Fantastic. I wanted to check in. I had to share that with you because it's at the, at the 23 minute mark. You've already missed it. So you got to start before that. But, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, fantastic. All right. Yeah, I like the fact that, like, Merlin keeps singing after it's over. So, all right. I'm going to get back to it again. I'll see you in another minute because this is it's going to keep getting better and better. So hopefully you're going to stay with me. All right, I'll be back. How long have you been doing this act? Oh, I don't know. Since, uh... Right. Hey, everybody. We're at the 36 minute, 37 second mark, and it was the first um, air battle. I don't know why I'm saying air battle, but they're... Uh, you know, first combat up in the air for in Top, top Gun. They go against Jester. Um, and, you know, a couple of good quotes. I'll hit the brakes, you know, fly right by us, right? And time to buzz the tower. <laughs> Negative, Ghost Rider. The pattern is full. <laughs> oh, fantastic. But, brings up a good point. So, yeah, he went below the hard deck, right? To take the shot at Jester. Only under there for a couple of seconds. 
but why is Jester going underneath the hard deck? Like, and they follow him. Like, why is it their fault? I guess, I don't know. I don't know the rules of engagement and, um, you know, when you're air combat, but he went below. They went below. Like, it's his fault, not their fault. He chickened out. He had to go down there. You're not allowed to shoot somebody that low? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But uh, I thought I'd bring that up. But a lot of good quotes right there in those minutes. So I wanted to jump in, talk about the quotes, talk about the uh, the faux pas in this movie. All right. I'm going to get back into it now. I know Goose is going to start talking about the phone number for the trucking school. So I'll get back to it. I'll be back. Hey everybody, we're at the 1 hour, 7 minute, 52 second mark. I could have checked in a bunch of times. I mean, we, I didn't realize, like, from, it probably played for 20 minutes, Take My Breath Away plays, not only for the love scene, but even before that, when he goes to, when he's playing beach volleyball, he leaves beach volleyball, and Take My Breath Away starts, and he goes to her house, then he goes to the, you know, and he, he meets with her and whatever, and it, and it, take, it stops. And then he goes to the meeting where, you know, he gets on the motorcycle and wraps it up. I can't hear you. It starts again. It plays for like 20 minutes of the movie. Like, it, periodically. It, it's funny. So, the reason I stopped it here is it's, it's probably the worst part of the movie. The goose part, you know. Watch the canopy kind of part. So, kind of kind of takes a downturn here. Um, right before this, a lot of good quotes came out. You know, hey, um, just a walk in the park, Kazansky. Um, that was in it. Uh, Goose, you know, take me, you know, he's playing great balls of fire. Take me home, take me to bed or lose me forever. Meg Ryan, another character that we forget is in this movie. Or, not everybody, but Meg Ryan's in this. It's Goose's wife. So, you know, um, there we have it. You know, a lot going on right now. And I pause it right here because I'm not ready to watch the next part. It's a sad part. I'll probably wait until this is over. And it's kind of the downturn, even though we got another 42 minutes in the movie. Um... Mm, you know, everybody loves Goose, but, uh, all right, get back into it here, uh, you know, I'm trying to think of some of the other, there's so many quotes in this movie, it's just fantastic, but, uh, all right, I'll get back to it here, I just want to stop it right here before I deal with what's going to happen, all right, I'll be back. Hey everybody, we're at the 1 hour, 28 minute, and 55 second mark. Um, we're just about done. I'll probably see you at the credits on the next one. But, real quick, they're back. Their um, you know, graduation is over. And they're over the Indian Ocean. And I think it's ironic that his old commander um, is now in charge of what's going on here, the mission here. I think that's kind of funny. And the real reason I stopped it, well, the re real reason I stopped it was because my son woke up. I had to go get him something. Uh, but... Uh, I also thought, I've been meaning to tell you this, I didn't realize it until Goose dies, that I was referring to the one guy who becomes his real right here um, as Merlin. I thought Merlin was part of Top Gun or, or was at Miramar. He's not. That His name is Sundown. Merlin is his real in the final scene here, the final battle or whatever, um, dogfight. There you go. In the final dogfight, that's Merlin. I thought Merlin was always a part of it. Didn't realize it until I looked a little closer. Sundown is his real when, uh, you know, he's he's not ready to engage. But, alright, so we're at the final dogfight here. We'll get into it. You know, this is a very exciting point. So, um, I'll let you go through it on your own and I'll meet you on the other side. Alright, I'll be back. Hey everybody, we're at the credits of Top Gun. That's it. I was going to stop it and we could watch it together, but I figured out what the heck. But I just realized, I'm, I'm a goofball. Let me tell you that. I've, I, I brought up Merlin, like I knew what I was talking about. I know we're coming back to this again. And I now thought, okay, oh well no, Sundown. I mixed the two up. Merlin is actually Tim Robbins. <laughs> I didn't realize that until I saw it. Just now. 30... What is it? 36 years, 34 years later, and I just I knew Tim Robbins was in it. I didn't never. I, I knew he was at the celebration at the end, 
you know, when they defeat the Russians. Hopefully this is not a spoiler. If it's a spoiler, I don't know why you're watching this with me. But uh, when they take down the MiGs and uh, Tim Robbins was Merlin the whole time. I can't believe that. A lot of funny things. I thought it was interesting. You know, we talked about his commander who's running the mission at the end over the Indian Ocean. Smoking a cigar the entire time, you know. People were, his one plane got shot down. He's still smoking a cigar. I thought that was interesting. I thought it was interesting um, that Maverick and uh, Maverick took down four of the MiGs. Nobody else did it. Not Ice, not Hollywood. Nobody else did anything in that fight. It was all Maverick. And looking at the dogfight, like, you know, you would think that they're chasing each other. You know, hit the brakes off, fly right by you and all that stuff. But no, they're all like this kind of stuff. Like, that's crazy when you see the footage. I love that part. I thought that was just incredible. Um, I also found it interesting, like, when he goes to buzz the tower again for the final time, they hand the guy coffee, like, right on screen. <laughs> it's like, so he could spill it on himself. Like, it was just so, like, I don't know, like, the first guy, he had his coffee, so everything, so boom, I get it. The other guy's just like, yep, nope, sorry, Ghost Rider, the pattern's full. Negative Ghost Rider, the pattern's full. And he's like, oh, oh, thank you for this coffee. As the, you see the hands, hand, it's like, it's like the, the, <laughs> The camera guy hands it and go, oh, oh, take this, because you got to spill it on yourself. I thought that was funny. I also thought it was funny at the end when uh, You Lost That Love and Feeling comes on the jukebox. Tom Cruise is in the bar, having a good time, whatever. The jukebox is in the other room, and he stands up and he takes his jacket and he goes walking in, and he's like looking around. Okay, well from the same room he just walked out of, Kelly McGillis, McGillis walks, like turns the corner. Like, dude, you were just in that room. I, I don't get that, you know what I mean? Like, she was standing up against the wall when you walked through. Watch that scene again. If you just watched it with me, you'll know exactly what I mean. And I still love the movie. The movie stands the test of time for me. And I'll, I'll leave you, you know, I, I tried to become a pilot. Um, I have a bad ear and I'm not smart enough. I'm the right size, that's it. Um, but uh, I really wanted to become a pilot at one point. Not because of this, my sister always said, there was another commercial I saw, whatever, that's irrelevant. But when I was a kid, and I saw this movie, and it came out with the Top Gun game for Nintendo. And I got it for Christmas, and I thought it was the best thing ever. The same Christmas, my sister, Missy, um, asked Santa Claus for the Top Gun jacket that Tom Cruise wears, with all the patches all over it, right? Well, she got it. I got my game. And I remember that Christmas morning that uh, I had the game. It was up in my room in Nintendo. I opened it up. My dad ran downstairs, got the jacket, put the jacket on. He didn't have any shirt on or anything. Got the jacket on, and he was playing on my Nintendo playing Top Gun. I always remember that. So <laughs> that's how much this movie means. So there you go. Hopefully you stuck with me throughout the entire movie. If not, that's okay. Come back later, watch this again, but I tell you what, I'm so glad I did this. I enjoyed it a lot. It stands the test of time. I can't wait for Top Gun Maverick. I don't know what I'm going to wear, but I am going to go see that movie when it comes out, whenever. But, um, all right, that's it. That's all I got for you. If you enjoyed it, let me know. It was a, If you'd like to see more Watch It With Me's instead of just reviews, put it in the comments. Put anything you want in the comments. Be nice to me. But you don't have to. I don't care. Put out whatever you want. As long as you subscribe to my channel and tell all your friends. I hope you had fun. Alright, thanks for tuning in. Kimmel's Irish Pub.